in Tanzania, uh, laboratory confirmed cholera is laboratory based. So we normally do catch and sensitivity. And if we isolate Viblio cholera, O1 or O139, that one is confirmed. In this procedure of uh, catch and sensitivity, it, it is having the two phases. Media preparation, that's a reagent preparation, and the isolation now to identify the organism. Now, in media preparation, we have this common media called TCBS and is used all over the world uh, for isolating the Viblio cholera. Then another step that comes, I need to, to put the name of the patient and number. After putting that information, I will come now to my sample and streak and inoculate the sample. Then this media will go to one machine called incubator and we'll incubate it for 24 hours in 37 centigrade. Then uh, you'll be surprised this media will change color from green to yellow like this one. So this one shows that there are some organisms that have grown and they've consumed the sugar that was uh, green previously and turned to yellow. This is characteristic uh, of Vibrio cholera. But I'll not be sure and write this is Vibrio cholera until I need the shape of the colonies that I, 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 I see in my plate. If I see very flat colonies, then I can be on glimpse that this may, might be cholera. They too, I'm going to, to confirm if it's cholera or not. Now, I, 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 I will have to inoculate to another media because this media is having color. This color might interfere with my procedures. Now, I need to put to another media which does not have color, and this one we call nutrient media. Uh, just to know the, the results or to confirm the results after sample has been collected, it takes about 48 hours. In counting the day, light is uh, taking three days. After receiving the sample in the lab, then the following day, you see biochemical tests and the other day is confirmatory.